I'm doing a quick little tutorial on the fingers, finger picking part of I Will Follow You Into the Dark. I'm going to be focusing on the right hand only in this video, so if you are interested in looking up the chords for the song, you can get those from lots of other locations. And the particular student for which I'm making this video already, already has the chords anyway. So let's look at A minor for our example chord for doing the right hand part on this. Here's the thing that we're going to try to put together. So this is only using the thumb and the pointer finger, that's all you need for this. The first thing we need to get going is the thumb hitting the bass note in the chord. In this case, in the case of A minor, the bass note is the open A string, so boom, right there. In between those thumb hits, we're going to add a chuck with the nail of your, of your pointer finger in the right hand. So a chuck is when you go through the strings and the side of your palm also hits the strings at the same time that you do that. Uh, most often this is done with a pick in your hand, but you can also do it with the nail of your first finger if you're doing just a finger picking thing like this. So you're going to go bass note with your thumb and then chuck with your pointer finger. Next thing we're going to add is an upstroke or an up pick with your pointer finger right after that chuck. The string I'm hitting on the way up is the B string, which means when you do that chuck, it has to be really accurate now. It has to go right through, I usually go through the D, G, and B strings and then stop right here on the E string so that the tip of my first finger, tip of my pointer finger over here, is ready to come right up and hit that B string. So take as long as you need to get through this step to get this coming out smoothly and consistently. The next thing you're going to add is one more picked note in between all of this madness. Right there I picked the G string. So it's thumb, chuck, up, thumb, pick, chuck, up, thumb, chuck, up, thumb, pick, chuck, up, thumb, chuck, up, thumb, pick, chuck, up. That's the whole pattern. Uh, you'll have to work on it slowly for a while. It took me a long time to work on that slowly before I was able to do it at full speed. Um, but speeding it up, it turns out to be this thing. might have noticed I wasn't 100% accurate in there. As long as you're holding the chord in the left hand and you're not just holding the single notes that you're trying to get accurately over here, when you make a mistake, at least you're hitting a note in the chord. So maybe you, your chuck finger goes all the way through and you end up coming up on the high E string instead of the B string. Still sounds fine. Or you come up on the G string. So you want to target that B string for your up after the chuck, but don't panic if you if you hit a different string, because it all it's always going to sound fine as long as you're holding that chord over here, and every mistake you make in your right hand results in a note from the chord. So now what you want to do is apply this to different chords. Uh, let's try C now. The bass note is on the same string, so you're going to hit the right hand's going to be exactly the same actually. Now try it on F. If you know this 
a shortcut F that uses the middle four strings, then your right hand is still going to be the same. Technically that's not your root note over here, but it is the bass note in the chord. I don't think that's how the real song goes. I think the real song uses this full F bar chord, so if you know this one, then you'll have to switch your thumb over to the low E string. Do exactly the same thing with your pointer finger that you were doing before. So your pointer finger is still hitting the same string, your thumb is going to have to move around to different root notes depending on what chord it is. If you do G, if you do E, One final note on the chords over here. I said I wasn't going to talk about the chords, but here I am. For an F minor chord, you need an F minor in this song. Just one little annoying moment because it's not an easy chord. To go from a full F bar chord to an F minor, you lift your uh, middle finger. To go from your uh, shortcut F that uses the middle four strings to an F minor, lift your middle finger, but you're going to have to flatten your first finger to get the first fret on the G and the B strings. So you get uh, no note on the low E, third fret, third fret, first fret, first fret, and then no note on the high E. I think that should cover it. Thank you.